what's popping y'all what's popping my name is happy black legends and welcome to this video yes queen or king or royalty whatever you do i i support you what's popping so yes this is a mess i'm going to be brushing my hair during this video because why not oh my spray so this is a unpopular music opinions video i've wanted to do this for a really long time but i've been waiting to like collect opinions i will probably do more of these in the future i know i'm about to sound like everybody else but these opinions are actually really pop uh, unpopular these are like really unpopular <laughs> like i i'm literally nervous because i know i know i'm about to piss people off I need to wash my hair probably today, so I just wanted to pick it out. This shit is a mess. I don't... Yeah, so this is your dandruff trigger warning right now. Here we go. This is my first and popular opinion. Okay. Chromatica and Future Nostalgia are two of the worst albums of 2020. Literally, literally, the most bland, unseasoned, no pepper, no salt, no onion powder, no garlic powder, no onion flakes. Nothing. No parsley, no basil, unseasoned. They are, t I, I do not think either one of those albums are deserving of any accolades or awards. Let's start with Future Nostalgia. Future Nostalgia, um, I know it's beloved by so many people, so already go dislike this video if you'd like. I wanted to start off with probably the most, like, vulgar, unpopular opinion on this list, and that's my opinion. I walked into Future Nostalgia fully expecting to like it because it was so popular, because everyone was calling it New Wave, because I love the 80s, I love the 70s, I love funk, I love 80s pop. Give it to me, give it to me, darling. And she didn't give it to me. The plate was empty. There was no food on the plate. Um, the table wasn't set. There was absolutely nothing remarkable about Future Nostalgia. I cannot believe that that album has gotten so much attention. I, I don't, I really don't get it. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, she's pretty. I think she's gorgeous. I think she knows how to wear an outfit. Alto representation, we love to see it. I want more women with deeper voices in music. Yes, give it to me, Queen. But she just... I just, she confuses me. The only Dua Lipa moment that was like a serve, in my opinion, was that Grammys thing she did with St. Vincent. That was cool. That was sick. But everything, like every time I watch her perform live, she can't dance. She's boring to watch on stage. And you know what? I'm going to be real with you. I don't believe that every single performer needs to know how to dance, but there's no stage presence. There's just nothing. I really don't get Dua Lipa. Um, I don't dislike her. I don't dislike her. I just don't get it. I don't get why she's popular. I don't get what she does. I just... Oops. Ow. Chow. 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 I'm really tender-headed, y'all. I just really... Um, I don't get it. Chromatica. I am a little monster. I've been a little monster since I was like six or seven, maybe even eight, nine. I really don't know what age I was. Um, Lady Gaga was my most listened to artist, okay? I was in her top 1% of listeners, okay? There are some tracks from Chromatica that are in my top titles of top titre de 2020, okay? However, that does not mean that Chromatica is an amazing album or deserving of any accolades. Gaga can do better than Chromatica. I believe that. Are you kidding me? Do you know how many serves this woman has given us? I'm not, just because I love Lady Gaga doesn't mean I'm going to blindly follow everything she does. I'm going to call Stephanie out on her bullshit when I see it, okay? The fuck? Chromatica is so bland. It is so basic. It is so boring. So boring. So, so boring. I was so disappointed about Chromatica. I really was. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even. Because don't get me wrong. I loved Joanne, okay? I absolutely loved Joanne. I have Joanne merch. One of my friends bought me a little Joanne shirt. I wear it sometimes. Y'all have seen it on the channel. I love Joanne, okay? So don't get me wrong. However, I was really excited about a pop album because... 
Look, I love Lady Gaga, but I haven't seen A Star Wars Born, and I'm not gonna watch A Star Wars Born. Bradley Cooper is a weird man, and he makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. There's something about him that I do not trust. When I look into his eyes, I sense violence. I don't know what it is about him. I do not like him. And also, A Star Wars Born, like, that's just not a movie that I'm gonna watch. I'm not really into, like, sad romantic movies. Like, it's not my thing. So I just... I had no interest in it and I knew that wasn't an era that I was going to partake in. So I was really excited to have like a new pop era because we haven't had one in like years. I mean, we haven't had a pop era from Lady Gaga, literally. Art pop. That was the, okay, she gave us, what's that song? I will be right by, The Cure. Okay, The Cure was a little pop tease. And Joanne, it is country, but it's kind of like country pop, but I'm talking about like pop electronic, you know? And I just, I really don't like Chromatica. I just, I really don't like it. I, I want to like it. I don't even like a lot of the visual stuff that was released. Like, I remember when the album ca cover came out and everyone was, like, gagged for it. I liked the album cover, but I was like, um... I don't know. I don't know what it is about Chromatica that just doesn't speak to me, but it doesn't. I really appreciate the fact that for Lady Gaga, I feel like this album was a release. I feel like this album needed to happen for her. So I love that. I love that for her. But in terms of like good music or like an album that deserves a Grammy or anything, no, it does not. It's not a good album. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> So the next unpopular opinion, okay, first of all, this is so funny. I wrote down Ariana Grande and Demi Lovato should make music. <laughs> That's all I wrote. But what I meant to say was, I feel like Ariana Grande and Demi Lovato have some of the strongest voices, like period, okay? And I feel like a lot of times the quality of their music doesn't match the quality of their voices. Like, like I don't know. I will say with, I wrote this, down before Positions came out and honestly I do like a lot I like some of the songs from Positions 3435 Nasty Shut Up Point of View 630 po uh Shut Up is probably my favorite I listen to that song once a day that was also in my top titles of 2020 so the fact that that album only came out like a little while ago and that bumped up into my <laughs> top titles that tells you a lot okay like her harmonies her oof and maybe you should shut up Ooh, that shit is fire, okay? So I will say with Positions, I like Positions a lot more than a lot of the stuff I've heard from Ariana Grande in the past. However, I do still, like, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I think it would be cool for them to try different genres. I think it would be cool for them to, like, like, Ariana Grande should go on Broadway. I think she, wasn't she Annie, like, as a kid? I don't remember. But anyways, ciao. My point is, I think that vocally, they're so much better than the music producers that they work with. I really feel like, like, I don't know. Demi Lovato, I was obsessed with Demi Lovato as a kid, okay? I'm convinced that she probably contributed to my gay awakening in some sort of way, you know? I'm like not brushing my hair at all in this video, and I want to brush it so I don't look like a fool during this entire video. Um... I love, love Demi Lovato's voice. I've been a fan of hers, like, literally since Don't Forget, Here We Go Again. Those are two of my favorite albums, like, of all time. Here We Go Again, I would, I would list higher than most. Here We Go Again by Demi Lovato is better than Chromatica. It's better than Future Nostalgia. It's better than a lot of albums that are out today. I honestly believe that. If Demi Lovato gave us a rock album, oh my god. But I don't really listen to a lot of Demi Lovato's new music. It's just not interesting to me. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do like a deeper dive. But every time I hear something new from her, I'm just kind of like, mm. I do, I did like, um, oh my god, what's that song she wrote about her dad? I can't remember the title, but that, that's a bop. I do like that song. And that's on Daddy Issues, period. Next, I wrote, Selena Gomez's best song is Rock God. And she can't sing. I don't know how this woman was allowed to become famous. I really don't get it. Um, I'm not going to call her talentless, but she can't sing. She really can't sing. She can't act. She cannot act. I I watched Wizards of Waverly Place. I mentioned this in a video I filmed. I mentioned this in my uh, Miley Cyrus Plastic Hearts video. But she kind of got on my nerves in that show. I just don't think she's a good actress. And she, she really cannot sing. Like, at all. That woman cannot... I, no. No. Stop it. Why are you lying to yourselves? If something sucks, it sucks, and that's okay. 
we are on a planet, okay? And not everything can be perfect. This is what I do to like, I know this is bad for my hair, but I do this when I'm trying to get some of it detangled, cause who chat, y'all about to see this afro grow and grow and grow. <laughs> the next unpopular opinion. J-Lo just seems like a rude culture vulture and she also cannot sing. Um, <laughs> I live somewhat close to LA. Uh, I used to live in LA for a short period of time. And um, I've heard from many people that have worked with her that she's rude. I've heard that for years. Like Ellen, when this whole, when Ellen got canceled this year, it kind of made me laugh because I was like, this isn't news. Like anyone, like in, a, in the LA area especially, I don't know, like I have known about Ellen being rude for like a decade, I feel like. Like, like it's not, it wasn't news to me. So Jail's also one of those people where it's like you hear a lot of the time that she's kind of rude and she's kind of hard to deal with in person. She's a culture vulture, in my opinion. I don't think JLo, um, JLo can dance. And the only reason why she got this far as she has is because she can dance. And it's because she has, um, uh, a conventionally attractive face um, but she cannot sing her doing the Motown tribute honestly I do classify that as a hate crime that was offensive it offended me so on a such a deep it offended my DNA okay my my cells my blood cells were offended by that okay that was some bullshit how are you gonna ask a non-black person to do a Motown trip that would be like me going up on stage to do a Selena tribute what the fuck why would I do that like that just doesn't make any sense I don't know she can't sing she can dance I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take that away from her she's 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 gifted at moving her body okay but <laughs> I wrote, Billie Eilish's music gives me anxiety. I love Billie Eilish as a person, as a concept. Um, when she turned 18, I felt so bad for her. People are disgusting. The way they talk about her, I think is really gross. I think it's a sickness. I always, as I've gotten older, like, okay, I love kids. I don't want any kids of my own, but I love kids. And because I went through like childhood trauma, I always feel like a sense of like, closeness and when I see children in pain like it just like I don't know and watching her come up and it just felt like she was in so much pain at some points in her life and I just felt like she was around people that didn't have her best interest out again this is like me being me this isn't like proven I really I don't know anything about this woman I don't know anything about her okay I'm just saying outside looking in this was my perception of her situation and it just kind of, I always felt so sad when I looked at her. I, she just made me feel sad. Now her music, I don't think it's bad, but I can't listen to it. Her music gives me anxiety. It's like, it's the filter that she uses. Like, what do you want? Like her voice sounds like echoey. I don't know, every, especially with earphones. I've had like panic attacks listening to her music before, okay? I don't know what it is about her music that triggers me I don't know but it really gives me like terrible anxiety and I just I don't like to listen to her music honest to god but I think I like her sense of style I like how quirky and sort of 90s inspired it is I'm here for it I support her just don't listen to her music personally I prefer Solange over Beyonce personally for me Solange's music speaks to me differently than Beyonce does Beyonce doesn't make music for me. I am not a Beyonce person. I, she doesn't make music for me. Um, and what I mean by that is I feel like Beyonce makes music for like really fly black girls. And I, I am not a fly black girl. I am, I am a black girl. Yes. I, I happen to be a Negro, but I'm not, I just, I, I've never felt like she makes music for me. I don't know. But Solange, like, when I get home, when I get home is literally a masterpiece. Like, I remember when, um, A Seat at the Dinner Table, I believe, I believe that's the name of that album. When that album came out, I didn't like all the songs in that album, but I liked most of them. And I remember thinking, 
she's never gonna release anything that's better than this. And I don't know why I thought that, but I genuinely did. And I was fucking wrong and ignorant as hell for thinking that. When I get home, oh my god, that album is so... That album belongs in a museum, okay? That is one of the best albums of our time, and I cannot believe that I was alive for the release of that. Truly, truly can't believe it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Woo cha, woo chile. Okay, Ali and AJ, sorry, there's like dandruff flying around. I need to wash my hair. Today is wash day. That's why I'm, that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Allie and AJ deserve the attention that the Jonas Brothers got for their stupid little reprise. First of all, first of all, okay, I, I, I love the Jonas Brothers, okay? Hold on, hold on, that song, Fly With Me, I have a Jonas Brothers signed CD. Okay? I saw them. They opened for Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Destiny Hope Cyrus. They opened for her at the Best of Both Worlds concert, okay? I, I grew up, I was the demographic when the Jonas Brothers were out. Their last album, their little reprise moment, that was some bullshit. That was so bad. I was shooketh at the low quality of that album. And I was honestly really disappointed. I was truly disappointed. I was like, y'all, I think I have like two songs saved from that album, more so out of pity. Um, but that was a that was some bullshit. And in my honest to God opinion, Ali and AJ, they're making music that is that exceeds like anything the Jonas Brothers did on that album. They make like new age music. Like if you guys are into like 80s pop, if you guys are into like that new wave like pop that just gets you dancing, go listen to Joan of Arc on the dance floor right now. Oh my god. Joan of Arc is on the dance floor. We say no. Are you kidding me? That song is better than the entire Jonas Brothers. I don't even remember the name of their last album. That's how bad it was. And I just, it makes me sad that, like, they're not getting the attention that they deserve. So, that's that on that period. Okay, this is kind of... This is kind of a, uh... A, this is, this is controversial. This is, a, this is controversial. Let me brush my hair out a little bit. Because I know this is about to piss people off. I already know it. Cardi B can't rap. Cardi B cannot rap. She cannot rap. She cannot rap. She is not capable of rapping at all. Period, 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 period. I don't even understand why people were comparing her to Nicki Minaj. The disrespect. The disrespect. I don't even get it. She's not comparable at all. She cannot rap. I got voodoo. I got voodoo. And I can't cook. I can't clean. But I got this ring. What are you saying? Enunciate. Oh my god, I do not, she cannot rap. Every time I listen to her, I just, ooh, 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 queen, sis, cunty, hunty. This ain't for you. I do not think she's capable of rapping. I don't like most of her music. Honestly, this isn't her fault, but white girls from my fashion school that I ended up dropping out of used to play Bodak Yellow and they used to say the N-word like loudly on that song. And ever since then, I just, I don't know, that, and there's, Cardi is not, Cardi is not clean, okay? She's done some really fucked up shit. I just don't think she can rap. I just don't get it. I think there's so many more capable, more talented, more unique, more interesting rappers on the scene. Cupcake, Brie Runway, Jungle Pussy, who I still haven't listened to fully, Tierra Whack. Like, who am I missing? I feel like I'm forgetting. Rico Nasty. Um, Shy Girl. There's like so many better, better, more capable rappers than Cardi B. Megan The Stallion, okay? Like, I don't even... <laughs> Cardi B can't rap. She cannot rap. <laughs> I don't think that artists should have to sing in English to succeed. I think that's some bullshit. I don't like that that's sort of the standard that's been set. And I really appreciate, especially this year, that so many art, like at least a lot of the albums I've listened to this year were multilingual um, albums and artists. So I'm happy that I do that. But I, I want to urge... I'm going to talk to Americans because I can't speak for other countries, but I want to urge Americans to expand what they listen to. Listen to artists in other 
languages. I also feel like in America, this is like a t another tangent, we really need to take language learning more seriously. I get it, we're hella secluded compared to the rest of the world, and we're a huge fucking country, so I get it, but at the same time, I wish that more Americans were bilingual. I think it's important. I think it connects you to the world, it connects you to history, it connects you to culture, it can it, it, it makes you more knowledgeable, you gain more wisdom, and I feel like today, there's, it's, there's so many ways to learn a language online, especially, that... It's kind of easy to do. Well, not easy. I'm just saying, I feel like it's easier now to, to learn a language than it ever has been because of the internet. Because you can you, you can go on Netflix and watch shows in other languages. You can listen to music in other languages. But literally, the only reason why I'm semi-fluent in French is because I watch Peppa Pig and Totally Spies and Bojack Horseman in French, like, all the fucking time, okay? So, I feel like... I feel like we should allow, you know, international artists to have, a, like, a chance. And I... I I wish that more people could ex could listen to music in other languages. That's just how I feel about it, honest to God. Music awards are trash. And honestly, what I've learned in life in general is most award shows are trash in general because it's like, at the end of the day, I feel like in a way, award shows, like, they set this weird standard. Not just in music, honestly. This is just an issue with the award shows in general. But especially like music awards, I cannot, I don't get it. Why was Yummy nominated for a Grammy? Grammys are like, you know, to quote Azealia, the highest accolades. Like, I saw Justin Bieber on SNL, honestly, and he's my next, he's actually my next point. I saw Justin Bieber on SNL. I wrote down, Justin Bieber can sing, but he's annoying as fuck, and Yummy wasn't deserving of any awards. And I stand by that. Um, and I'll get, I'll, get, I'll get more into that anyways. But I saw Justin Bieber on SNL. I don't like that man, okay? I do not like him. My tolerance for that man has decreased over the years, truly, okay? However, he killed it on SNL. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He was amazing on it. I thought I thought his performance was so good. Justin Bieber can sing. He can. I I I think he's a good singer. I just don't think he's a nice person. I don't think that he's a good person. I haven't met the man, but just based off of what you know he presents to the world, I'm not a fan of what the image that we're being presented. I don't I don't like it. Um, when just when Justin Bieber came on the scene, this is like a funny little tidbit. I thought he was actually a woman. I thought he was a lesbian. One time, when one time came out, you and me, I'ma tell you one time. I heard it on Radio Disney, and me and my mom were like, "Oh my god, like lesbian? Is this a lesbian singing about loving another woman?" Like, okay, okay, wow. Radio Disney is they really out here. They just said gay rights, and I remember I went to school and I was like, "Did y'all hear that lesbian love song?" And they're like, "What song?" And I was like, "One time, who? Do you guys know who sings that? Because I liked it." And they're like. That's a man. That's Justin Bieber. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh shit, sorry, I didn't know. So, I do think he can sing. As a child, honest to God, he got on my damn nerves, but I still listened to his albums because I liked it. I thought, it... say what you want about Baby, that was a cultural reset. That is a cultural reset. I mean, come on. Justin Bieber was a total heartthrob. I'm not gonna knock him on that, but he's annoying as fuck. I can't stand him nor his wife, and every time I see their faces, I'm just like, Oh god, not again. <laughs> not again. Yeah. But and Yummy wasn't deserving of any award. I who why did it get nominated? I don't get that. Like why didn't they just nominate any of his other songs? I don't know. I I I don't know. Cher cannot sing. Cher can not sing. Cher can not sing. She can not sing. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way. What is she doing with her mouth and her tongue and her voice? She's so, I okay, Cher is an icon. She's a legend. She's gorgeous. She models. She's hilarious. I love everything about her, but the moment she takes a microphone to her mouth, I do not like her anymore. I don't think she can sing. I don't know how she's been able to finesse people into thinking she can sing. Kudos to her, though, because she's made a lot of money from doing it. So queen tings, yas. But no, she cannot sing. She can't. She cannot sing. I've listened to, like, two Cher albums, and I was laughing the entire time. 
it, I was shooketh. I was shooketh. I could not, I could not believe. I was like, wow. Truly shooketh. Ciao. I'm tenderheaded, y'all. I don't know if I told you that. I'm really tenderheaded. Madonna is annoying. Madonna is so annoying. I cannot stand this woman. She irritates the life out of me. I cannot stand her. I'm I honest to God, I've never gotten into her music. I don't think I ever will. I don't if I if I was alive during the 80s, maybe I get it, but I wasn't. So I don't think she's yeah, she gets on my nerves. I can't stand her. Her and her grills and her black adopted children. <sighs> Madonna, sit down, please. Please. I don't really like, I mean, most of the songs I've heard from her, I don't really like. I don't like, like, like a virgin is kind of annoying, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of goes back to, um, like music award shows, but radio, like radio, your music being played on the radio and your music being streamed and your music, what did I write? And your music charting does not automatically make you good. It just means that you have a really good marketing team. I mean, I don't listen to the radio. I'm not gonna knock, if you listen to the radio, do you, boo, live your life, you, 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 but I don't listen to the radio. Oh my God, what is, this, this strand is so long, oh my god. And that's on what? Malnutrition, period. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's, you know what? I feel like on Twitter, maybe, I never cared about charts or streams, but once I got on Twitter and I, and I started interacting with like a few, not a lot, but just a few stan pages, and then like, of course you would see it. Um, even Justin Bieber and his yummy mess that he pulled, like, last year, or was that this year? I can't remember. Jesus Christ. Um, that was weird. Like, I don't get why people are so obsessed about it. It, it, it doesn't mean anything to me. It means nothing. So what, your album's number one? It's still a shit album. Like, if I, if I see a pile of shit on the sidewalk, and I put a trophy next to it, it's still shit, boo. It doesn't mean Jack. And I, and I think that we should stop saying that just because an album's charted, that it's, it, and it, that it's a worthy piece of art. I'm not trying to say that your album being number one isn't a success. It, 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 yeah, but it doesn't mean that it's good. You see what I'm saying? Like, just because your album, or just because a song is top 40, doesn't mean that it's a, a work of art. It just means that it's top 40. It just means that you guys have a really good marketing team, you're probably popular on social media, and you know how to market yourself. That's, that's all that means. I don't... Mm -hmm. Body by Megan Thee Stallion is literally so fucking annoying, and I hate it so much. It's a terrible song, and I, it's terrible. That song sucks. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Body, Megan, you're better than that. Megan. Megan. Megan, are you serious? Body yada yada. No. No. Stop it, please. You're hurting my body yada 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 yada. My ears are in pain. I hate that song. This song is so bad. Honest to God, I did not like good news. I was gonna do a reaction and I'm so happy I didn't. I just decided to listen to it. I did not like it. First of all, and this is my next point. We need to end male rappers ruining female songs. We need to end giving subpar people verses. Like you guys are ruining your songs. You guys are you guys are making your songs worse when you do that. And I and I've seen that a lot this year and I don't get it. Can we make it stop, please? Can you just I don't know. I I I get it in the sense of like it's kind of like, I just spit a little bit, sorry. It's kind of like collabing um, with YouTubers. Like, it, it, it's good for both parties, I understand that. But it ruins the integrity of your music. And it, 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 it lowers the value 
of an otherwise good song. And Megan the St good news, like half of those songs were collabs. And I was like, this is, I don't give a fuck about this. Megan, come on now. I was not into good news, honest to God. I listened to it once. None of the songs stuck out to me. It, it, I don't know. I didn't really like it, to be honest. Most of K-pop is recycled black R&B. And I don't think that's so much of an unpopular opinion. I feel like most of us are aware of that by now. I don't know. But it's a little weird to me. And I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing Asian people with dreads and box braids. Can y'all cut it out? Can you sit down? Can you please cut it out? Why are you wearing a do-rag? What are you doing? Me and my friend, <laughs> me and my friend got boba a few days ago. And this, and he saw me. Okay, this is so... <laughs> <laughs> this dude had the zoo he was with his girl and he had like you know the shaved and he had the little thing on the top this dude tried he i don't know what he did it wasn't they weren't dreads but he like textured his hair to make it look like afro textured i've never seen that it just looked like grinch fingers were sitting on the, like the back of his head and when he walked by i stared at him like this I, and he saw me, he looked right, I was looking at him like this, like, and I knew he knew. I knew he knew. You look like a fool, you look like a mess, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's cut it out. Let's... I don't know how much more I want to pick this shit out, honestly. I'm feeling around for some knots and shit. I only have like one more opinion that I really, really, really want to give. Rihanna shouldn't have to release a new album if she doesn't want to. As much as I would love a new album from her, she, she, if she doesn't want to, she shouldn't, she shouldn't have to. Do I think she should maybe indicate that she doesn't plan on doing it? Maybe. But also, she, she, why should she? She's, you know, she's proven herself as more than a singer. She's built an empire for herself. She's reached such a level of like acclaim and fame and I just feel like if she really doesn't want to release another album, if she, if she would rather focus on doing other things like dating bum ass niggas, then she should have the right to do that, you know? <laughs> Anyways, child, I'm gonna get going. My hair... My hair, my hair, my hair. I'm washing it today, so I'm happy it's picked out. It is what it is. But anyways, y'all, what did you guys think about my unpopular opinions? Did you guys think they were actually unpopular? Did you guys agree with some of them? I would love to hear it. Um, what did you guys disagree with? Let me know down in the comments below. Dislike this video if you, if you want to. Leave a hate comment if you want to. It helps my channel. You're helping my algorithm. Woo! So do whatever you want. I really don't care. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, a huge motherfucking thank you to my patrons, to my YouTube members, and to my motherfucking subscribers. Even if you're not subscribed and you're just watching this video, it's still really appreciated. Thank you guys so much. And as always, have a really good fucking day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, y'all. Bye.